Welcome to another edition of the Wildcat Kitchen. I'm Katie Lee Pham. And I'm Miley Whitman. What are we making today, Miley? Well, my family has an awesome apple pie recipe, courtesy of my grandmother, and so I'm letting you in on all the secrets of it. It's probably the most simple apple pie that you could ever make, and it's all under $10, so really easy for you to contribute to your family's Christmas. The ingredients you need to make Grandma Woodman's apple pie is a third cup of butter, half a cup of flour, half a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of mace, half a teaspoon of ginger, a frozen pie crust, and four to six Granny Smith apples. Okay, so first thing we need to do is chop up all the apples. So we're gonna put it in a nice, fine dice. Mm, how did I just use this So we're apple? gonna core it first, yep. So okay. go ahead and take an apple. All right, guys, I'm a little bit short. Whoop. So you want these finely diced, probably squares and kind of similar to the size of your fingernail or maybe even a little bit smaller. If you want a little bit more smooth of a pie and not so chunky when you bite into it and cut into it, then that's when you're gonna wanna keep your dices pretty small and consistent. Maybe something like this. But if you like a little bit more chunky of a pie when you bite into it, keep your dices a little bit bigger. So that's where your preference comes into play of how you like your pies. While Katie's over here dicing away, if you don't have an apple core, um, another simple way to do it, you can still totally make this work, you're just gonna have to make sure that you've got all the seeds and all the core out, but just kind of think about cutting your apple into fourths, like each side as if you were um, making a square against the core. Now that our apple pie is getting pretty highly mounded, you can kind of stop there. You don't want to fill it up too much that it's going to overflow on the sides, but it's going to sink once it cooks. So having it mounded, you'll still end up with a pretty level pie. So now that we've got our pie filled with all of our diced apples, now we're ready to make the topping. So we're gonna need a half a cup of both the sugar and the flour. Okay. So you can go ahead and do that. And then you have your flour cup. So now to measure out the half teaspoon of the ground ginger and the ground mace to ensure that you get the right kind of measurement, you're probably going to want to take the top of it off so that you can just scoop it in there and treat it much like you would flour. And for the ground mace, it has a little bit thicker of a consistency. So a lot of times you can just use the edge of it to get that smooth top correct measurement. Now to get a third cup of butter, just follow the measurements that's listed on a stick of butter. And then, then we're gonna wanna melt the butter. Pour it on in here. And whisk it together. And once we've mixed this up together pretty well, this will be just what we pour and spread out on the top of all the apples. So we just now put it, do we like pick it up with our hands? Yep, just pick it up and crumble it on top. Like this? Mm -hmm. I kind of like to mash mine together so that it's a really smooth placed crust. So we're going in 400 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so we've taken it out, and it's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. It looks delicioso. Okay, let's dig in. Alrighty. I, I like your Christmas sit sweater. Look at that. Where'd you find this at? Um, thrift stores. Uh, Best of the Christmas sweaters. I mean... Presents, I like the presents. The In the holiday spirit. Yes. Well, from us to you. Thanks for joining us on Wildcat Kitchen. I'm Riley Whitman. And I'm Katie Lincoln.